Hello dear students, how are you all? So, in the other videos that we already had, uh, we were talking about simultaneous topics which are included in your courses. We discussed about tenses and all. So, in the picture lecture, we have tenses as a topic. Today, we have a continuation of type type topic. This is called active and passive voice. This is what we will discuss in today's lecture. We will be discussing active and passive voice in today's module and today's lecture. Now, uh, what I mean, like whenever you are taught with uh, tenses, soon after the tenses are taught, teachers mostly and preferably what we start is active and passive voice. Now, why do we start it preferably after tenses? Guys, the reason is whenever we discuss about tenses, tenses is a topic which contains, uh, like that, that day when I told you while teaching tenses, also we have 4 into 3. That means we have 12 rules to learn. Okay, three tenses and its four subdivisions. But we, when we talk about active and passive voice, here we are not supposed to learn four into three rules. Instead, we'll be only we'll be reducing the number of rules and we'll be only having nine rules over here. Sorry, not even nine, we don't have even nine. Uh yeah, we have nine rules here. Okay. Sorry, we don't have nine rules, we are only, only supposed to learn eight rules. Okay, we are only supposed to learn eight rules here. Okay, so now let us begin about what is active and passive voice, how is active and passive voice explained, and all these questions we have. Now, see guys, what is active and passive voice? Whatever motion we have once said in active sentence, active speaker, whatever I have said, when that very sentence is repeated in passive form, it is referred to as passive voice. Okay. Now, one benefit that you have in active and passive voices, in the entire topic, we are just supposed to use verbs third form. That is a basic rule that you can keep it in your mind that will be making you easy to learn this topic active and passive voice. Okay, I'll make you a table of active and passive voice. I will try to complete this entire topic in this very lecture only. I will not take an extra lecture for this. I'll try not to take an extra lecture. We'll bind up this topic in this lecture only. Okay, so let us draw with the table. Now, the table for active and passive voice, as always, we'll be taking three tenses, present, past, and future. All these three tenses are subdivided into four parts, that is simple, continuous, perfect, and perfect continuous. These are the, sub these are the subdivisions they have, isn't it? Now, amongst this, we will not be making the perfect continuous. Three reduced and we will be not making future continuous. So as I said, we will be only having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight rules. And all over these places, the verbs form will remain third. Which verb form will be using? We will be using verbs third form. Which verbs form? Third form. Very good. Now, what additional gets added here is, now see, what we used to learn here is, they will never reduce the rules, they will never reduce the structures, but instead what we will do, they will be doing is, whatever the rules excluded in one part will be added to the other part. Now see, it's a way to learn this, okay? We use this B here in tenses, in active sentence we use B here. Now because this part is reduced, we will be using this B over here. Is this thing clear? So we have used the B over in the simple part. Here we will be using being and being with helping verb. Okay. Here, like over here we used to write B. We added extra B in here. As I said, when this topic is excluded, we add the, the topic over in the matter. We make this, so what we will be doing is plus B. Very good. Okay, now B will be added over the matter and that will be in an extra matter and topic here. Plus, in present we will be using has and have. In past we will be using had. In future we will be using helping verb plus have. Now is this 
clear to everyone? Or uh, I'll just give a quick reminder of this. You just once look onto the rules, how they are made, and we'll after that give a quick revision how these are made. So as I said, I'll give you a quick reminder what happened here. In simple, we'll be using in simple present, we'll be using verbs third form, past verbs third form, future verbs third form plus B will be additionally added there. In continuous helping verb plus verbs third form plus B will be added in present. Past again helping verb plus verbs third form plus B in past tense. Future it will not be added. Perfect. We'll be using has, we'll be using have, plus verb third form plus be. Now this is for present. Past had, plus verb third form, plus be for the past matter. Your future helping verb. We use helping verb here is will and shall, plus verb third form as we already said, plus be that we have borrowed from here, and have which was to be meant to be used here. Now I'll give you another quick reminder. With present we use is, am, are, with past we use was, were, with future we use will or shall. Now see to here, is is used with singular, am with i and are with plural, very good, was with singular, and verb with plural, wonderful. Will with singular and shall with again plurals. Okay, so this is the way we make them. These are the structures that we make, these are the extra words that we make. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes. You read all the rules here, you write, uh, you write and draw the table in your copy, and once after you do that, we'll move forward. Fine. Hope you would have seen all these rules and you would have seen how they are made. So now I'll give you a couple of sentences on this. Okay, no sorry, begin, before beginning with sentences, I have to tell you a few more things which are very important for you to learn. And once you are prepared with that, you can directly make sentences. And this is going to be a very easy topic if you listen to the rules very properly, very keenly. Okay? Now, I'll give you an example of a simple, uh, of an active sentence. Okay? I'll give you an active sentence. Uh, our active sentence that we will be using here uh, would be The teacher was giving a lesson The teacher was giving a lesson the Example I have given you is The teacher was giving a lesson Now here the teacher is a subject, was is definitely a helping verb, giving works first form plus ing and our lesson is object and as you know this is a sentence that is for past continuous, isn't it? Now as I said past continuous gets changed into past continuous only and the couple of things that we add here is be, now be very particular here. The object becomes subject, subject becomes object. Now you see here, a lesson, was will remain was, as I said being will be getting added here, being, okay, was being given by the Teacher. Now here, a lesson is a subject, was our, is our helping verb, be is that we added active passive, given is give, gave, given. So this is verbs, third form, by the teacher. Here by is getting added. Now you see once again, what I did here is 
subject is a lesson was being given by the teacher. Is it clear to you people? Now this is the major changes we bring through whenever we see active and passive voice and the topic in person. Okay, these are the several changes that comes across. By line gets added in the sentence, which is a major change that we see. Okay, we will go with some more examples and that will help you to understand this topic well. Subject plays verbs first form and cricket is object. This is a present simple sentence. So cricket is played. I'm sorry, played by Ram. Here, this change happened. Is remained that we only play verbs third form. And by Ram got added here. Now, past Ram played cricket. Cricket was played by Ram. Here, cricket got the subject, Ram became object. Played because for play is the second form and third form is same, so it remained played only and was get added. This is of past simple. Okay, now future Ram will play cricket. Cricket. Will be played by Ram. Here, Ram is the object, cricket became the subject, will is in will form, B gets added and played. This it became this way. So, this is again a future simple. I'll give you an explanation how this has happened. Here, Ram is the subject. Plays the verb and cricket. So this scene, cricket is played by Ram. Cricket was played by Ram and cricket will be played by Ram when it came into future. P gets added there. Okay? Moving further to the continuous one. Ram is playing cricket. So this becomes cricket is being played by Ram. So Ram became the subject and the object here. Cricket became the subject here. Is remained is playing got changed into played and being is the word that gets added here. And the second one is in past. Ram was playing cricket. Cricket was being played by Ram. Sorry. So Ram became the subject here, cricket became the subject here, was remained in was style, playing became played and being is getting added here. Now I'll show you again. This is our present simple, okay? Sorry, uh, present continuous. And this is our past continuous. And I didn't mention you. As I said, I mentioned that the future will not be here. So, Ram is in Ram style only, cricket is in cricket style. Playing became played, B is added over in this matter and is in that way only. Here also, Ram became here, was will remain was because it is in singular only. Play became played, sorry, play become played and B is added in the subject, this object is on the subject part. 
I'll give you a couple of minutes. You see to these rules. Prepare doubts if you have some and write it in your copies and we'll be soon rubbing it and we'll be moving to the perfect topic. A perfect is going to be a couple of uh, difficult one because you have a couple of things in the perfect because has have had relationship is there that is a perfect becomes a very very difficult way. Fine. I think this is this topic is clear to you. We'll be moving with perfect one. So perfect I'll be using my book to just see a couple of examples because they have good amount of examples for me and yeah for you also. It will be definitely useful for you. I mean you'll get a good amount of pondering time to think upon how the things are coming up. Okay? So we'll see a couple of examples from there. So I'm moving ahead with perfect one. So I'll write perfect one only. Okay. So in past perfect, sorry, present perfect will take. As I said, I used my book. Just have some good examples for you people. So I have the boy have eaten up. All the cakes, and this is for this one for the present one. We have present one, we go for the past one now.
in the upcoming module, I give you an interesting thing. Now what I'll do is, in today's, once this video will get uploaded, I'll try to put you some of the questions. Now, what you're supposed to do is, you're supposed to solve those questions. Okay? You solve those questions. And the next video, whenever I make my next video, whenever the next video of this module will be uploaded, I will solve, give you the answers of those questions that I will be uploading in the video in that will be uploading in the group. Okay? Hope you will be participating well in them. To try to solve all those, all those questions because this is going to be a very important topic. This is starts from 6th standard and this goes till when you are clearing your civil service also. So prepare this topic well. Hope the lecture was useful to you. We will be meeting soon. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.